Meet the Capras. They are worth approximately $1.8 billion. At least that's how much they'd cost us if they decided to visit and got into our stored grain. But although authorities are constantly on high alert for this well-known destructive beetle, there are thousands more pests and diseases that are difficult to identify with the potential to destroy crops, undermine food security and wreck exports. Previously, when an unknown pest was found, it could take weeks for the specimen to be identified. It was costly, inefficient, with an increased risk of the danger spreading. Now the CRC for National Plant Biosecurity has created the Remote Microscope Network, which can be used to identify a potential threat in real time from anywhere in the world. With only a camera equipped microscope and an internet connection, a query can be sent about a potential invader. Can you see my live image clearly? No problem. Um, could you please show me the dorsal surface of the thorax please and zoom in on that? The CRC's plant biosecurity toolbox holds the taxonomy of many of the nastiest insect pests and plant diseases from around the world. I'm just comparing that to some images in the PBT and on paddle. It allows scientists, biosecurity experts and quarantine officials to exchange vital information, decide if there is a problem, the extent of any danger and what type of biosecurity plan needs to be put into action. Looking at the plant biosecurity toolbox in Paddle, I can see here you need to take action now. So we found an unusual insect that came in in a load of grain into our Geelong grain terminal and we were very concerned that it could have been the larger grain borer which is a damaging pest not currently in Australia and one that has the potential to be hugely disruptive to Australian grain exports. We were able to use the CRC's remote microscope network to rapidly identify the insect. Fortunately it turned out to be a harmless wood insect and not the, um, the feared grain borer. Um, but because we were able to do it as fast as we were, we were able to avoid any shutdown at all to our operations. The outcome this time allowed grain exports to run like clockwork. But now, when a virulent pest is identified, the remote microscope network can facilitate an immediate biosecurity plan with input from around the world. The system is also being used for taxonomic training in remote locations. The RMN technology is vastly superior to anything on the market today. Uh, this kind of technology can only promote safe trade and travel uh, and at the same time enhance our biosecurity network. The CRC for National Plant Biosecurity's remote microscope network is a technological breakthrough playing a key role in the warning system against destructive invaders. It is already on patrol in Australia, New Zealand and Southeast Asia, protecting our food supply, our rural industries and our export trade.